Here at the gathering spot in downtown D.C., the Howard University men's basketball team is partying like it's 1992. For the first time in 31 years, the Bison are headed to the NCAA tournament. And on Sunday night, they learned their fate. They would be the 16 seed playing number one seed Kansas. Wow. Wow. Um, didn't know if we we're going to have a play in game situation, but I guess we uh, climbed the ladder a little bit in the net and the other things that they look at in terms of the seeding process and uh, exciting, very excited. But seeing our names on the TV and seeing the matchup we have on Thursday against a great uh, Kansas team who has a great history, uh, it was just a real feeling. So now it's kind of, it kind of hit me a little bit now. I don't think it'll hit me until we get on that plane, to be honest. Um, but right now we're just trying to enjoy being around each other. Howard and Kansas will tip off Thursday at 2 p.m. Down the South region, the eighth seed, the Terps of Maryland. It's it's great momentum for the program moving forward. So um, to get back in and be an eighth seed, um, you know, in, in year one is pretty good. Kevin Willard in his first year as head coach of Maryland's men's basketball team. The Terps landing the eighth seed in the South region and will face nine seed West Virginia Thursday at 12-15. A lot of emotions. Um, just working for this for four years I'm a senior now and just being able to get here uh, it's like a dream, dream come true so I'm just excited to be able to play uh, with these guys. The Maryland women finding out they have the two seed and will face 15 seed Holy Cross. It's, it's so exciting it's like March is the best time of year to be an athlete I don't care what anybody says especially a basketball player so it's something we live for something we wanted and we're just ready to execute it. The Terps also securing home court advantage. Well, that's why you work so hard during the season is to gain that advantage to be able to host. It doesn't guarantee you any wins, but to have your home crowd and fans and sleep in your own bed is, uh, is a huge priority. And again, the Maryland women are set to host Holy Cross right here at the Xfinity Center on Friday. A time has yet to be announced. Reporting from College Park, Maryland, Charlotte McBride, WUSA 9.